In this video, we'll be covering the initial setup of the Resort Lock with the Software Management Package. The Software Management Package is an upgrade that can be purchased with the lock to provide added features like Auto Trail and the convenience of programming the lock visually instead of on a keypad. Included in this package is the Resort Lock software, the one wire iButton reader, the USB adapter, the iButton programming key, and iButton user keys. Setting up the Resort Lock with your software can be done either before or after installation. However, having a lock close to a computer during setup adds a little convenience. If you choose to set up before installation, make sure to put the batteries in the back of the lock and attach the power cable. The iButton programming key will be used to transfer information from your computer to the lock. The programming key will connect to your computer via the one wire cable that plugs into the USB connection. After plugging in the one wire, you should see the installation wizard pop up on your screen. Allow the wizard to automatically search for the driver. The driver can also be downloaded from resortlock.com if necessary. Next you'll need to install the Resort Lock software on your computer. Insert the software disk you received with your lock into your disk drive and follow the auto setup instructions. After installation, double click on the Resort Lock management software icon put on your desktop. Log into the software using the default user, Dallas, and the password, iButton. You can change the username and password once logged on if you choose. Notice the menu on the left hand side of the software. The setting menu includes options for programming information like new locks and codes in the software. The mission management menu provides options for transferring information to the lock. In order to use the software with the lock, we'll first need to add the lock's information to the software. This is done in the new lock setup mission screen. This screen gives you several options, like setting the light on your lock to blink and daylight savings time. You can also choose between classroom or storehouse mode. Classroom mode will leave the door unlocked after opening, and storehouse will relock the door five seconds after it is unlocked. Make sure the iButton programming key is plugged into the one wire, and then hit the issue key button to transfer the information. Unplug the iButton and bring it to the lock. Hit the lock's reset button located here on the back of the RL2000 and here on the back of the RL4000. Now touch the I button to the front of the lock. We've just set the date, the time, and the passage mode. We've also grabbed the serial number from the lock to enter into the software. Plug the I button back into the one wire and hit the read key icon. In the window that pops up, you'll see the lock's serial number on the left hand side of the screen. It also shows that the lock is not yet added in the database. Click the add lock button to import the serial number into the database and fill out the remaining lock information. Now with the lock added to the software, we're ready to add permanent codes and issue temporary remote codes. To add permanent codes for yourself, cleaning people, or anyone else you want to give permanent access to, go to the key settings screen in the setting menu. Click the add button. You can add an I button, a key code, or a complex user that would need to use both an I button and a code. First let's add a key code user. Enter the name of the person who will use this code and the code number. All other fields can be left blank. Click Save to add the user. Next we'll add an iButton user. Click the Add button and select iButton user in the pop-up window. Plug the black iButton key into the one wire. Enter the name of the person using the iButton, then click your mouse in the Serial ID field to populate the serial number from the iButton. Finally, click Save to add the iButton user. Now we need to transfer the user codes and iButton information we just entered over to the lock. To do this, go to the Single Lock Key Assignment screen under Mission Management. Select the lock you'll be assigning the keys to at the top of the screen. Next, select the users you want to assign to this lock. Make sure your iButton programming key is inserted into the one wire, and then hit the Issue Key button. Once again, unplug the iButton programming key and simply touch it to the iButton reader. The new users have now been added to the lock. Finally, let's generate a temporary remote code in the remote code screen. Click in the lock name field to select the lock you want to create a code for. Enter the guest first and last name. Then use the calendars below to set the check-in and check-out times for your guests. Once the date and times are set, hit the Create Code button to generate a temporary remote code. Simply provide that code to your guests and they will have access to the property only for the time you specified. 